Hey guys, this is Mac Heads and On with a short little video on how to make the buttons on the side of your iTunes 10 on the top instead of on the left. So when you update it to iTunes 10, you probably notice that there's no title of the window anymore and these buttons are on the left and it's kind of annoying if you are used to dragging windows by the top because there's not as much room to do that. Um, and Apple actually, I guess, sort of thought about making a setting to do this and never did it or just did it for development purposes or something. But they made it super easy to just change one setting in uh, defaults to move these buttons to the top. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this with Terminal. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Terminal by going to Spotlight or whatever. And then write defaults. Right, com.apple.itunes full window dash bool and say true. And this basically just sets a setting in some plist um, with this value, and it's saying that this value is now going to be true. And if we kill iTunes now, if we restart iTunes, and we open it back up, now you can see that these icons and the buttons are on the top. And you even have your title bar and everything. So, I think that's it's. I think it's nice that Apple allows you to change this back to make it normal because I really don't like it with the buttons on the left. And I think they partially did that so they could easily change it in the future. Um, but whatever. All right. So now, if I go back into iTunes, I can do or back into Terminal. Sorry, I can write the same command, but I can write false. And then I'll restart iTunes again. And the, if I do this, it'll change the setting back and the buttons will be on the left again. So it's quite simple. Um, Apple obviously intentionally did this for whatever reason. And I think it's nice that they did. So uh, thanks for watching MacHeads on 1. Subscribe and goodbye.